Right, they've got this beautiful, amazing gaming top of the line machine Acer. I'm just kidding. It's the most budget i3 Acer laptop you can buy under 500 Australian dollars. Let's have a look on the inside. Yeah, my job is to clone a Windows 10 onto this guy in the time being. Let's do a quick unboxing of it. Very basic. Um, so that's the silver color A315 53. That's the model. 4 gig RAM, oh god. 15.5, 15.6 inch Core i3 11th gen. 256 gig SSD. Okay, why would you give only 4 gigabyte RAM? Okay, putting a lot of effort on the SSD. So you get the usual Acer charger. Okay, so let's have a look. Acer Okay, so this has that annoying kickstand feature as well of the hinge. So this one, the hinges will break very easily. We're going to do definitely hinge repairs on the same or similar model. See, the issue is, see, have a look here. It's, this is what lifts up the laptop. And what happens is, if you have a look at the laptop, see, I'm going to put my finger here. You're going to see the laptop move away. See that? I move my finger, comes back, do it again. It's like a it's like a snail, a worm. See, keeps going. It's mostly on carpet areas. Um, people open up and close. They hold the laptop, and they lift it, which is creating a drag and creating pressure on the hinges. Anyway. That's that, Core i3, what have we got, DDR4, okay, two USB ports, HDMI, network, basic stuff, charging port, one USB, headphone, microphone jack, and a Kensington lock. Okay, so we're going to open this guy up, get it ready for cloning, well I just want to see if the RAM can be upgraded too. Fine, if we crack it, we'll put a new screen in for them. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it can take an extra 4 gig RAM, or 8 gig, or even 16 gig. So it has a slot for a normal hard drive, that's beautiful. DDR4. They're using a Kingston RAM SSD, uh, King, Kingston SSD. Wonderful. All right, be right back. Okay, so that's that. We'll do the RAM upgrade a bit later. So for now, we're just going to boot into our recovery software um, and do a cloning. So for now, we'll go in quickly into the BIOS, have a look at that. Plugged in, charging light indicator there, power button. Power light on. 
there we are yeah a lot of whitewash it's green not the best quality but you get what you pay for Okay, so power on, delete F2 keys. Okay, so they're using Insight H20 BIOS, 4 gig RAM, I can't believe it, okay. Um, now, okay, that's fine. So, two, that's about it, I think. All right. To boot into another device, you need to first set a password, and then you can go in and change the secure boot to disabled. Exit and save changes. That will be it. So for this video, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one.